It's with great pleasure that I invite Alex Sin to come forward to deliver the valedictory speech. Mr. Chancellor, members of Convocation, my fellow graduates of 2012, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you a little bit about me. My name is Alex Sin. I'm 23. I'm a computer engineer, and I like to eat. <laughs> and if you knew me, then you'd also know that I'm no modest person. But I want to begin my address today by saying that I am humbled by this honor, this opportunity, for me to stand up here in front of all of you and say whatever I want for five minutes. <laughs> Hi, Mom. I mean, I can probably say whatever I want right now, but since they're still holding my degree hostage, I'm just going to stick to my script. I stand before you today not as a Waterloo engineering student, but as a University of Waterloo engineering graduate. After all this time, we finally get to look back and reflect on all these years here at Waterloo. Let me start, though, by bringing you back a little bit farther. Do you remember when life used to be easy? Remember high school? Remember recess? Remember the hardest thing about calculus used to be the quotient rule? If you're smart enough to be sitting in one of these chairs today, graduating from one of the most challenging, most demanding, most unyielding, most vile and evil degree in the entire known universe. <laughs> Chances are that, like me, you didn't have to work very hard in high school. In grade 12, my chemistry teacher came to me one day and he said, Alex, in high school, you're a big fish in a small pond. But university is like an ocean. University is different. Everyone there will be smarter if, if not as smart as you. There won't be anyone to babysit you anymore. You will have to do homework. You will have to do assignments every day. You will have to study every day. You can't just do nothing and get by. This sounded to me like a challenge. So challenge accepted. <laughs> Waterloo engineering, easy. So I didn't do much work in my first year here. I did not study very hard. But I did, however, play a lot and lot of pool and ping pong. And first year did not turn out so well. Since then, I have to tweak my work habits a tiny little bit. But my chemistry teacher was right. University was different. Waterloo was different. Engineering was different. We'd all been thrown from our comfort zones and pushed into a completely new environment with new rules and new peers. Some of us adapted, adapted some of us did not. We matured as individuals but we progressed as a whole. The students you see here today come from different backgrounds, from all different parts of the world, with different beliefs, different morals, and different values. But today, we're here as one. Today, we are the graduating class of 2012. The journey has been long and arduous, filled with many, many obstacles. For these years of hard work, what did we get in return? We got this ring. This ring that we wear on our pinkies today is but a shiny circular piece of machine stainless steel. But it serves as a reminder, a reminder of our obligation as our calling as engineers. It reminds us of the oath that we swore to uphold the ethics and high standards associated with the engineering profession. We get this degree. The paper degree which we're receiving today is but a $40,000 computer printed decorated piece of paper with our names written on it in very fancy font. <laughs> but what it symbolizes is our time here at Waterloo. The hardships, the lessons, the stress, the sleepless nights, everything we've had endured to make it here today. And most importantly, we gained the knowledge, the experience, and the memories. If you did not have the privilege to spend these five years with us, 
Let me try to share with you some of the defining moments of this degree and how we have earned the right to call ourselves University of Waterloo Engineers. Fellow graduates, let me refresh your memory. Remember 8.30 lectures and labs? The ones you have to drag yourselves out of bed for because you were up all night studying and working on assignments? Remember PD Eng? <laughs> but more importantly, remember the departure of PD Eng? <laughs> remember triple integrals? Like, actually, does anyone remember triple integrals? <laughs> remember Hell Week? having five exams in five days? Remember seeing that one guy finish that three-hour exam in one hour and wondering to yourself if that guy is super, super, super smart or not very at all? <laughs> Remember failing that first exam in first year? Remember failing that exam in fourth year and going, still higher than class average, it's okay. Remember how awesome job mine is and how easy and intuitive it was to upload your resume in HTML format. <laughs> Remember work term reports, given four months to plan, write, and proofread an engineering report. And remember starting it two days before it was due. <laughs> remember that random tutorial that made us walk all the way to the math building? Remember trying to decide where to eat for that four-hour procrastination dinner the night before the exam? Remember the two-month course project that we finished in one day with an all-nighter before it was due? But we never had to do these things alone. We have so many people to thank for helping us get where we are today. We never could have come this far without them. First, professors, staff, and faculty members, I want to thank you for your patience and for enlightening and empowering us with your knowledge and skills. Secondly, I want to thank our parents and family members for the support they've given us through these many years. I want to thank them for the interest-free loans they've given us. And I want to thank them for coming all the way here today to share this very special moment with us. But most of all, I want to thank you, my fellow graduates. We studied together, we laughed together, we celebrated together, we ate together. And we waited impatiently for that last stupid mark to come out on a quest together. You were the ones that were there for me day in and day out. You were the ones who understood what I was going through. You were the ones who listened. You were the ones that made the school. You were the ones that made this the University of Waterloo. For without you, this campus is merely a collection of old, ugly buildings that were probably modeled after a prison. <laughs> People always told me I would miss university. I never believed them, but now I understand. All these experiences we had together and everything we learned in Waterloo will never be forgotten. They will continue to shape us as a person and as an engineer. In the spirit of why not, this university cultivated a community where innovation and boldness are celebrated. This is the spirit we must carry with us. We must show the world what Waterloo engineers are made of. We must show the world what Waterloo engineers can do. As this chapter of our life concludes, a new chapter begins. We must forge our own path. We may fall, we may stumble, but we will rise and rise again. A local musician, musician once said, whenever you knock me down, I will not stay on the ground. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, 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 and never say never. You only live once, so chill, <laughs> follow your dreams, do it live, and never say never. Congratulations, graduating class of 2012.